sometimes it's not just criminals that cops catch. Oh my god, go, go. And these officers have bit off more than they can chew. Here are moments when cops catch ghosts. Police arrive on scene after a panic-stricken homeowner came home from the grocery store to her door being wide open. I, I left for a while to go shopping and when I came home, the door is open. I think somebody broke it. Does anyone live in the house? Yes, um, my husband, myself, and our two kids, but they're out of town right now. They're with his parents. And how many rooms do you have? Um, two upstairs and one downstairs. All right, uh, we're going to have to go and search the house. Is it okay if we go in? Yeah, yeah, of course. You don't have any, like, pets or dogs or anything? No. no. Police! If anyone's here, make yourself known. When the officer climbs the stairs, there seems to be an interference with the officer's body cam. A door also swings open despite there being nobody there. Police! Anyone inside, make yourself known. The officer enters, but nobody is inside. The door to the room opposite then opens by itself. When the officer checks, there's nobody in this room either. The cop finally descends back downstairs, but not before a loud noise prompts him to draw his gun back in the direction of the rooms. Yeah, we're, yeah, we're good. An intruder couldn't be found and the case was closed. The report stated that an intruder possibly came and left before the woman arrived back at home, but that doesn't explain why the doors open by themselves. Police are in pursuit of a van driver who refused to pull over. Stand by, it's going off. And calls it a day. The van finally pulls over and comes to a complete stop, but when the officers approach, they make a terrifying discovery. There's no one outside the vehicle or behind the wheel, and the van is locked. Where's it gone? It's magic. <laughs> In the back. Police try to check the back. He stopped to think he's hiding in the back. There's no one in the driver or passenger seat and uh, no one's decamped that we can see. We need to get in, mate. Yeah, mate, I'm going to smash the window in a sec. The police smash the driver's side window. But still, no one can be found. No. Eh? No, no one jumped out. And to this day, nobody ever was. His moves are still baffling to the police as he swerves all over the road, driving like a man possessed. A police chase sees officers pursuing an erratic driver. The car then moves off the road before doing something unbelievable. Watch. <laughs> the officers can't drive further because of a fence running along the perimeter of the block, but the car they're pursuing magically appears on the other side. The fence at the end means no way out, or does it? Police in Arizona are on patrol when they encounter a strange woman performing a ritual on the ground. Tell me stop, so I'm keeping away. Oh. Turn the headlights back on. Oh my god. Go, go. 
An undercover police officer was investigating a hotel after noise complaints were filed about a room that had no one checked in for weeks. Amy John's, uh, John's gonna enter the room real quick just to check, make sure. As the officer enters the room, a strange white glowing aura can be seen exiting the room. The officer, named John, also reported that all the furniture had been tipped upside down. An officer was investigating a strange rustling in the woods until... A Russian officer was on patrol and stuck at some red lights. When the lights turn green, a car appears from thin air. Johansi police in India were patrolling a park when they heard a noise from the outdoor gym area. The equipment was moving by itself. Officers stand back and record on their phones, gobsmacked by what is happening in front of their very own eyes. An officer was searching an abandoned building when he heard a strange noise from within. The officer had no body cam so records with his phone. The door in the basement keeps opening and slamming shut on its own. The officer looks inside the room, but no one is there. The officer leaves. Later, when he checks the footage, he looks closely and sees a shadowy figure following him around in the room. You mean you can't see the person I'm talking to? No, there's nobody in front of you. At all. A security guard was working with an officer after reports of a disturbance in a hotel block. Who is he talking to? The officer can be heard talking to someone, so the security camera checks the cameras to see who the officer is talking to, only to find that the officer is talking to nobody. Dispatch to 329. Yes, sir. Who are you talking to? I'm talking to a lady. I saw her walking by the door and uh, she said she's looking for Mr. Griffin. Her name is Miss Abigail. He says that he's talking to one of the residents of the hotel, an old lady, and the security guard looks into it. Did you say Miss Abigail? Yes, ma'am. She says she wants to see Mr. Griffin, and I told her that uh, the time was closed, that she should come tomorrow morning, and she might see Mr. Griffin. Are you sure you're saying Miss Abigail? Like, she's been passed on for... Two years now. Oh, I with that, please. Miss Abigail is she she died two years ago. When the guard asks the cop why he's talking to nobody, he gets instantly freaked out and flees the scene. You mean you can't see the person I'm talking to? No, there's nobody in front of you at all. <laughs> Chris Watts is a convicted murderer who killed his wife and two children. Yeah. 
When police and a canine unit search Chris Watt's house, they hear a little girl giggling from a walk-in wardrobe room. Yes. <laughs> the cops have clearly freaked out and investigate further. They believed it could be a kid's toy, but couldn't find anything that could have made those noises. The victims of Chris Watts was his pregnant wife Shannon, who he strangled to death, and their two children, Bella and Celeste, who he suffocated. I heard it. I definitely heard the same thing you did. Yeah, and then he just sort of turned around and looked. But I didn't think he was An officer was on patrol in Palu Pinning, Malaysia, when they come across a woman in a red cardigan. Thinking nothing of it, the officers continue. The officers then pass a similar looking woman further up the road. The woman then appears once again. The officers continue up the road when they have to brake harshly. Shockingly, the same woman is in front of the car, which is impossible. An officer was driving back to the station when he's forced to make an emergency stop. Oh God! No! The woman, covered in her own vital fluids, turns around and heads towards the officers. Beneath the sensor, she is using a knife. Oh my God! No! Oh. The officer immediately reverses and drives away. The officer was since fired for not reporting the scene, although the woman was never found. An officer on a motorcycle was recording on his body cam when a car was acting strangely. Sort of shit. What are you doing? What was this car doing? Where's it gone? Um, okay. The car is nowhere to be seen, but nearby is a local hospital and hospice. An officer on a motorcycle in Malaysia captures a ghost. Freaked out, the officer drives away. Police in Saudi Arabia were called to investigate strange noises from an abandoned house. Cops drive slowly towards the ominous figure ahead and they can see that something isn't right about it or the whole situation in general. The closer they get, the stranger the figure seems. The strange humanoid figure looks more like a witch than any real person. The figure then starts to approach the officers. <laughs> the 
The officers back away, but the figure is persistent. They keep backing away until finally... <sighs> An officer was talking to a local after a fire was reported when his body cam captures a strange figure behind the man's garbage. They're going to your house because you had another stroke. <laughs> the figure is then gone, seemingly vanishing into thin air. Thanks for watching. For more police content, click the video that's on screen now. Thank you and goodbye.